Hello everyone. Welcome to One More Thing. I'm Matt. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at six of the most murderous politicians in history. These politicians were known for the violence they committed during their rule, and their actions had a profound impact on the world. The crimes of these characters not only caused the loss of countless lives, but also changed the destiny of the entire country and region. Through this video, we hope to gain an in-depth understanding of these shocking figures and their crimes, while at the same time drawing the audience's attention to the lessons of history. Political figures throughout history have shaped the direction of the world, and their influence transcends individuals and eras. However, some politicians rule in a way that causes great destruction and suffering. They pursue power through extreme means and put their own political interests above the well-being of the people. Their rule was filled with abuse of power, terror and violence, and brought indelible pain and tragedy to the world. The six politicians committed a wide range of actions, including mass murder, political persecution, genocide and the Great Purge. Their crimes not only caused great panic and chaos at the time, but also had a profound impact on future generations. These events remind us that even in modern civilized societies, the threat of extremism and authoritarian rule remains. By understanding the crimes of these politicians and how they ruled, we can better understand the dark side of history and draw important lessons from it. We hope this film will draw viewers' attention to the lessons of history and alert us to the need to protect and advance the values of democracy, human rights and justice. Thank you all for watching, if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more related content. Let's get started. 1. Joseph Stalin Joseph Stalin, leader of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, was born in Georgia in 1878 to a peasant family. He joined the Russian Social Democratic Labor Party in 1903 and rose to prominence within the Bolshevik faction. Stalin became the supreme leader of the Soviet Union after Lenin's death and ruled the Soviet Union from the late 1920s to 1953s. Stalin's reign was one of the most controversial and influential periods in Soviet history. He implemented a series of economic and political policies aimed at promoting the industrialization and socialist construction of the Soviet Union. However, his rule was also accompanied by large-scale political persecution, repression, and famine, which brought huge sacrifices and suffering to the Soviet people. Stalin's rule, especially in the 1930s, saw the great purges of the Soviet Union. It is a campaign of repression against political enemies, real or alleged enemies. Large numbers of politicians, intellectuals, military officers and ordinary citizens were accused of being counter-revolutionaries and forced to confess to false crimes. Many were imprisoned in gulags, forced labor camps, and suffered torture and death. The death toll during the Great Purge may range from hundreds of thousands to millions, depending on different estimates. Additionally, the Stalinist era also saw a series of famines in the Soviet Union. The most famous is the Ukrainian Great Famine that occurred between 1932 and 1933, also known as the Man-Made Famine on the Grass. The famine was caused by the Soviet government's agricultural collectivization policy and forced grain harvesting policy. Millions of Ukrainian farmers were deprived of food and resources, and famine killed millions. The death toll during the famine remains controversial, but estimates range from millions to tens of millions. Stalin's reign was a highly controversial and dark period in Soviet history. His rule brought widespread political persecution, repression, and famine, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of people. Stalin's ruling methods and policies had a profound impact on the Soviet Union and the world in many aspects, and aroused widespread concern and condemnation from the international community. This period of history reminds us to value human rights, political freedoms and humanitarian values, and to be wary of the tragedies that totalitarian rule may bring. We should work hard to ensure that such an incident never happens again and to promote the development of a just, equal and respectful society. 2. Adolf Hitler Adolf Hitler, leader of Nazi Germany, was born in a small town in Austria in 1889. He was a homeless man when he was young, but he had a strong interest in politics and speech. Hitler joined the army during World War I and became angry at the injustice of the treaty after Germany's defeat. He gradually rose to prominence as a far-right politician and became Chancellor of Germany in 1933, subsequently concentrating power in his own hands and establishing the totalitarian Nazi regime. Hitler's reign saw the Holocaust of Jews, gays, disabled people, Roma and other minorities in Nazi Germany. This massacre, known as the Holocaust, was part of the genocidal policy of Hitler and his Nazi party. According to historians' estimates, 
The Nazi Holocaust resulted in the deaths of approximately 6 million to 7 million Jews, known as the Holocaust. In addition, Nazi Germany established a series of concentration camps for the incarceration and torture of political prisoners, prisoners of war, and genocidal goals. One of the most famous concentration camps is Auschwitz, where the death toll ran into the millions. Other concentration camps also had large death tolls, including Buchenwald and Dachau. Prisoners in Nazi concentration camps were subjected to abuses including torture, forced labor, starvation, and lethal medical experiments. Hitler and the Nazi party caused huge disasters to human history, and their genocidal policies and mass murders were regarded as extremely cruel and evil acts. This history reminds us that we must never forget events like this and work to ensure that similar genocides and atrocities never happen again. We should uphold human rights, respect diversity and promote peace and reconciliation to ensure that future generations can live in a more just and humane world. 3. Mao Zedong Mao Zedong, the founder and leader of the Communist Party of China, was born in Hunan province in 1893. He was influenced by Marxist ideas in his youth and became a member of the Communist Party when it was founded in 1921. Mao Zedong played an important role in the Chinese Revolution and established the People's Republic of China in 1949, becoming China's leader. The period of Mao Zedong's rule, 1949-1976, is known as China's Mao Zedong era. During this time, he promoted a series of political movements and social reforms aimed at realizing communism and modernizing China. However, his rule was also accompanied by extreme totalitarianism, political persecution, and massive social destruction. Mao Zedong's rule, especially during the Great Leap Forward period from 1958 to 1961 and the Cultural Revolution from 1966 to 1976, caused tremendous destruction and humanitarian disasters in China. The Great Leap Forward was an economic and social movement promoted by Mao Zedong to accelerate China's industrialization and agricultural collectivization. However, the way the campaign was implemented had disastrous consequences. Peasants were forced into collective farms, individual farming was outlawed, and large-scale agricultural failure led to severe famine. According to different estimates, the death toll during the Great Leap Forward may have been anywhere from tens to tens of millions. The Cultural Revolution was an extreme political movement promoted by Mao Zedong, aiming to eliminate bourgeois ideas and promote the purification of communism. The movement sparked social unrest, political persecution and violence. Thousands of intellectuals, politicians, military officers and ordinary citizens were considered hostile elements and suffered persecution, imprisonment, torture and death. The death toll during the Cultural Revolution remains controversial, but estimates range from hundreds of thousands to millions. Mao Zedong's rule caused huge humanitarian disasters and social destruction to China. His policies and campaigns led to the deaths of tens of millions of people and had a long-term negative impact on China's economic and social development. This history reminds us of the importance of valuing human rights, respecting individual freedoms and pursuing equal justice. We should learn from the mistakes of the past and work to build a just, inclusive and humane society that guarantees the basic rights and dignity of everyone. 4. Machado Ventura Macchiano Dudayev, Machado Ventura, is a Cuban politician who was born in 1930 in Santiago province, Cuba. He was a prominent member of the Cuban Communist Party and played an important role during the Cuban Revolution. After the victory of the Cuban Revolution, Dudayev became a senior official of the Cuban government and held different positions at different times, including Vice President of the State and Second Secretary of the Communist Party. Cuba under Dudayev was accused of political violence and the persecution of political dissidents. According to multiple human rights organizations and reports, the Cuban government under Dudayev has implemented severe crackdowns and restrictions on freedom of expression, freedom of association, and political protest. These acts of political persecution and violence are alleged to include arbitrary detention, torture, unfair trials of political prisoners, and intimidation and threats against opposition and human rights defenders. Some reports also indicate that the Cuban government used lethal force during a massive crackdown that resulted in some deaths. As for the specific death toll caused by the Cuban government's political violence and persecution during Dudayev's rule, it is difficult to draw a firm conclusion due to the Cuban government's information control and restrictions on external supervision. However, multiple human rights groups and independent media have reported different cases and accusations highlighting the Cuban government's severe crackdown on political dissent. It is important to note that the Cuban government denies accusations of persecution and political violence against political dissidents and claims that their actions are to protect national security and maintain social order. 
However, regardless of the specific figures, the political violence and persecution of the Cuban government under Dudayev still attracted attention and criticism from the international community. These events remind us of the importance of human rights and freedom of expression, and call on governments to ensure a fair and transparent judicial system to ensure that people's basic rights are protected and respected. 5. Paul Pot Paul Pot, Cambodian politician and leader of the Khmer Rouge, was born in 1925 in the Cambodian village of Prique Spove. He came into contact with Marxist thought while studying in France, and returned to Cambodia in the early 1960s and became a member of the Communist Party. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, Porter led the Khmer Rouge to successfully overthrow the Cambodian monarchy and establish a totalitarian communist regime. Porter's reign, 1975-1979, was known as Cambodia's Khmer Rouge reign of terror. During this time, Porter and the Khmer Rouge implemented a series of extreme policies and actions that resulted in mass killings and genocide in Cambodia. Porter's policies aimed at purifying communism and reshaping society. He launched a movement called Neon Zero, which forced urban residents to be expelled to the countryside and practice collective farming and forced labor. Many have been forced from their homes, deprived of basic human rights and freedoms, and subjected to severe abuse and exploitation. In addition, the Khmer Rouge regime inflicted extreme persecution on intellectuals, educators, religious figures, and others with educational or professional backgrounds. Schools and religious places were closed, and education and religion were seen as symbols of counter-revolution. Thousands of people were arrested, tortured, executed or died in horrific conditions. According to various estimates, the death toll during the Khmer Rouge regime runs into the millions. During the Holocaust, Porter's administration engaged in a systematic persecution and killing of political dissenters, including government officials, military personnel, educators, intellectuals, and others deemed a threat to the Khmer Rouge movement. Porter's rule caused great tragedy and destruction in Cambodia. This period of history is considered one of the worst genocides in human history and has had long-lasting consequences on Cambodia's society, economy and culture. The important lesson of this chapter is that in the pursuit of political goals, human rights and individual freedom and dignity must be respected. We should base our understanding of Paul Pot's background and reign on current information and historical records. However, due to uncertainties in the data and possible differing views, there remains controversy and uncertainty about the specific impact and death toll of the Khmer Rouge regime in Cambodia. More detailed information and up-to-date research on Porter and the Khmer Rouge regime may require consulting more recent sources and literature. 6. Nikolai Yezhov Nikolai Karlovich Chavetsky, Nikolai Yezhov, was born in 1895 in St. Petersburg, Russian Empire. He was a Soviet politician and security service leader and played a key role under Joseph Stalin. Chavetsky served as head of the Soviet NKVD from 1936 to 1938, responsible for carrying out large-scale political purges. Chavetsky played an extremely cruel and important role in the Great Purges under Stalin's rule. The Great Purges were a series of political persecutions and mass executions carried out by Stalin in the mid-1930s, aimed at eliminating people seen as potentially hostile forces, including political dissidents, intellectuals, military personnel, bureaucrats, and others deemed hostile to Stalin dominate those who pose a threat. As head of the NKVD, Chavetsky was responsible for organizing and executing these purges. He established an extensive system of surveillance and secret police, used torture and terror to force false confessions and confessions, and arrested, tortured, tried, and executed large numbers of people on political charges. These actions resulted in the persecution, exile, imprisonment and death of hundreds of thousands of people. Chavetsky was known as Iron-Blooded Nicholas. He implemented the reign of terror through harsh means and was considered a loyal executor of Stalin. He himself was accused of personally participating in many brutal acts, including overseeing trials and executions and personally directing mass arrests. However, over time, Stalin's trust in Chavetsky gradually dwindled, and he was dismissed and arrested in 1938. Chavetsky was charged with treason and counter-revolutionary activities shortly after his arrest, sentenced to death and shot in 1940. Chavetsky played an important role in the Great Purges during Stalin's era, and his brutal and ruthless actions resulted in the brutal persecution and death of hundreds of thousands of people. This period of history reminds us of our profound vigilance against the abuse of power and political persecution, and strongly reminds us to defend human rights, respect the rule of law and individual dignity. We should learn from Chavetsky's brutal behavior under Stalin and work towards building a just, inclusive and democratic society. 
For more detailed information and up-to-date research on Chabotsky and the Great Purge it may be necessary to consult the latest sources and literature. These brutal politicians also remind us of the lessons of history. We must learn from this to avoid repeating the same mistakes. We should cherish the values of democracy, human rights and the rule of law, and strive to prevent the abuse of power and the rise of totalitarianism. Paying attention to the lessons of history is an important part of protecting our society and people. We should learn from the mistakes of the past, respect the dignity of individuals, pursue justice and equality, and build an inclusive and harmonious society. Finally, we should keep these atrocious historical events in mind as a warning to our world today. Each of us has a responsibility to defend human rights, respect diversity and promote justice. By respecting the lessons of history, we can work together to ensure that our future is more peaceful, just, and prosperous. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and sharing. We will bring you more valuable videos. See you next time.